It's so bad, family. Now that is 100% confirms that Robert Pattinson is our new Batman. There are whispers going around that we could see Robin and a few other characters in Matt Reeves's Batman uh, movie as well as trilogy. So we need to talk about all of this in this video. <laughs> So everyone, we've got our new Batman, even though as if we didn't know that already, but it wasn't 100% confirmed until a couple of days ago. And if you're wondering why I didn't do a video on like, oh, we've got our Batman for sure. Well, that's just because I already did a video like prior to that when all this Robert Pattinson stuff was blowing up on the internet. And I didn't see the point in me just saying, oh, he is the Batman. But now I can talk about that kind of in this video, as well as the main point of this video in terms of what can we expect from this uh, series in terms of other characters, uh, because of course this uh, Batman trilogy even though like right now we're just obviously focusing on the Batman 2021 is about Batman Bruce Wayne in his formative years like the formative years meaning these are the years that establish him most as the Dark Knight, what will form him most into the Batman. And that's why, of course, they were looking at younger actors. And as we know, Nicholas Holt, uh, I believe he was in Tolkien and, and a bunch of other films. I uh, was, you know, in the run for being Batman. And I know a lot of you still wanted him to be the Batman. But personally, I'm completely on board with Robert Pattinson. And you've probably already seen my video on that. If you haven't, I will leave it in the cards above in terms of my reaction uh, as to, you know, uh, Robert Pattinson it being rumored and now obviously cast as the Batman. I'm one of those guys he thinks if, if you're just uh, saying that Twilight guy then uh, you know go watch some of his other films but if you still watch Good Time, uh, Lost City of Z and, and a bunch of other stuff he's been working on in between and you still think I'm really not sure about this guy then fair enough fair enough we, I guess we just ultimately have to wait and see uh, but you know there's other things coming out the woodwork now obviously with this news breaking officially that Robert Pattinson is the Batman uh, we've had Matt Reeves tweet uh, on Twitter these two little bat symbols with all the news coming out so he He's obviously happy probably that he can actually share like this guy's my Batman. Apparently there's stuff going around that obviously Robert Pattinson uh, was Matt Reeves' choice and supposedly he had to um, kind of convince Warner Brothers uh, that that he was perfect or like, you know, good for the role, that his vibe uh, was the right one to go with because Warner Brothers, uh, I guess, you know, if they had to be somewhat convinced, were a little bit apprehensive, which is, you know, completely normal at the same time. Uh, you know, they might have been thinking, oh, just like what a lot of other people out there are. And in any case, everyone, as we all know, with any casting on big characters like this, the Joker, Batman, uh, there's a lot of blowback. There always is. But I would, well, I would have to say on Robert Pattinson, I feel like it is... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it isn't as big as the blowback we've had on all of the other actors cast as Batman. But that's just my opinion. I feel like as much as you may have seen Twilight comments, this, that, and the other, it's actually not been as bad, even as Ben Affleck and other things who have also uh, got to be proven wrong, like even Christian Bale and Heath Ledger as the Joker. But this isn't what the video is about, Boba. Come on, let's get on to... What about Robin? Well, that is what we're going to talk about today. And I'm just going to go from the top of my head about almost kind of reacting to the thought of, okay, if Robin's going to be in this movie, which would be the first time potentially that there's been, yeah, a Robin since Batman and Robin, how do I feel about this? So I want to uh, visit an article that everyone is kind of recycling online at the minute, other outlets. And this is from Forbes, where they wrote their article, uh, Robert Pattinson starring uh, the Batman, Matt Reeves. Um, obviously, uh, as always, guys, I'll leave the article link down in the comments below. And also, everyone, if you go on to like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you just hit that like button. YouTube uh, doesn't often send out freaking notifications and stuff, as you all guys know. So, like, uh, viewer interaction, whether through commenting and likes, is, uh, is the way this uh, really benefits this channel and uh, this video. So, if you do go on to enjoy it, I'd really, really appreciate that. Now, this is written by Mark Hughes, and he goes on to say, After months of speculation, endless rumors, intense anticipation, Warner Brothers has their new Batman, actor Robert Pattinson, Pattinson, best known for portraying Edward Cullen in the Twilight film series, has completed negotiations uh, uh, with the studio to assume the role as the caped crusader in director Matt Reeves' upcoming project, The Batman, according to Variety. Um, now, he goes on to talk about various different things, about, you know, the kind of backstory behind this, the rumors, and how uh, he, you know, uh, was uh, thinking that it wasn't necessarily Robert Pattinson because he was told by sources that it wasn't, uh, but, like, maybe that's a bit of, like, the game in terms of when people get close to stories, like this guy with scoops, uh, they, they might flat out deny it and even lie, but then several days later, like, oh, lo and behold, it's true. Like, that's the same, whether it's in this industry or even the gaming industry, 
history of leaks or like whatever. I know that's a random comparison, but they often deny things and then all of a sudden the next day it could be true. He talks about, and this is as I said, what a lot of people are kind of uh, drawing from and I will get on to why I think it could be very possible considering the age of Batman in this film that Robin could very much so be a thing and and also obviously other characters but Robin is mainly what I want to talk about and that dynamic that you know could be taking place uh, between Batman and, and, and obviously his potentially first Robin in this film. That's just fascinating to me. So this is where he talks very briefly about this. So with multiple villains appearing in The Batman, I was told months ago that the Penguin, Riddler, and possibly Catwoman are expected to appear, as well as other rogues and mobsters, and additional characters, including Commissioner Gordon, Alfred, and potentially Robin, we should be hearing additional casting information soon. Now, uh, I, I definitely agree with a lot of this in terms of this is even months ago. Where maybe it's, I've heard it from Forbes or the, the same guy who wrote this article. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, you know, I maybe you feel the same here. Like Penguin Riddler and possibly Catwoman, I feel like we've been hearing about for the longest time in, in terms of Matt Reeves' uh, Batman uh, movie. Now, obviously, where he says Commissioner Gordon, Alfred, I think it's very obvious that Alfred will be in it. Like, if, it, if he wasn't in this a Batman movie or a Batman trilogy, it'd be like, what? No. Uh, so, yeah, I think, obviously, Alfred would be in it. Commissioner Gordon just makes sense. If these are Batman's formative years, then... Him working very closely, potentially, with Commissioner Gordon, and the fact this is a very noir-driven Batman detective, world's greatest detective, uh, main plot-esque story arc, then yeah, why wouldn't Commissioner Gordon be in it? You'd have to think so. Um, but, you know, this drives me to my video I made the other day, and I'll get onto Robin in just a second. Um, and, and obviously this is n like far from confirmed. So take this with a huge grain of salt. You may have seen, and it's in the cards above. Um, I spoke about how Matt Reeves' Batman trilogy, uh, might be the start of its own Gotham cinematic universe, only in the sense of like what Nolan did with the Dark Knight films, that these might be outside the DCEU. And that was from, uh, we got this covered. I know, uh, from the wide range of things they are from what I have heard. I'm not saying this outright like as a statement, but most people like don't view them as a very credible source. But I still found and wanted to make that video in principle of like, that's a fascinating idea. That really is a fascinating idea, what they wrote in that article in terms of how they've apparently heard from their sources that it obviously might be outside the DCU and that this, you know, could really be its own self-contained thing and since it's a younger Batman and you know you could have seen where they could have gone with a younger Affleck you know in Robert Pattinson but I you know I'm 100% for I really 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 am 100% for another Nolan-esque universe kind of thing. But I will leave that whole discussion for that video. So if you missed it, it is in the cards above. And that article, uh, if you want to go read it for yourself from We Got This Covered, is in that video in the description and everything. So go check it out for yourself and my thoughts on it. I just wanted to include that just because it's interesting, you know, whilst we're talking about this, thinking in the back of our minds how this could potentially be its own separate thing. And, you know, it really isn't a surprise with the new approach to things, how they are still doing the DCU, but we've got other films like Joker coming out. Why wouldn't Matt Reeves maybe think about maybe doing a separate kind of thing? Now that, that kind of does make sense to me. But Robin guys, I finally got onto it in the video. So what, this is just so fascinating to me. What we have to remember is that Robert Pattinson as Batman is in his formative years. He's 33 years old in, in real life. I think that was roughly the same age as what Christian Bell was in uh, Batman Begins. But you have to 100% agree that Robert Pattinson looks kind of still like a younger Batman. So they could still age him down. Like, I don't know if they will. I'm not saying this. I'm just saying he still looks like his late 20s. So just bear that in mind as well. If Batman has been, uh, let's just assume in Matt Reeves' Batman, he's been doing this since maybe 2013. 324 like they can honestly chuck that around if this is his formative years he could have started even in his mid-20s so he might have only been doing this four to five years half a decade whatever give or take it, it would be fascinating if in this trilogy it might not be the first movie we might not see robin in it but then again if he's already been doing this a few years he might have decided to take dick grayson on that would be so cool that would be so cool to th uh, think about and and this also ties in and the reason why i mentioned my other video that i covered with its own gotham cinematic universe thing with matt reeves's batman films being its own kind of thing they they also discussed in that article and how this would make sense for those uh, rumored nightwing movies and batgirl movies from years ago and how they were i guess gonna be incorporated into the dceu but like since they were put on the back burner or kind of benched 
what if they could now with this new exploration and its own kind of thing you know if we have uh, dick grayson in this movie what if he just goes off and becomes nightwing and then that could start that kind of thing i mean i know this is very reaching but i just wanted to splat these you know different colors of paint on the blank canvas because it's almost like you're seeing where things could go with this as much as it may be wrong at the same time. So I think it's totally possible we could have Dick Grayson as Robin in uh, Matt Reeves' Batman movies. Um, it would be the first Robin in a long time to do that. But I don't know, I don't know if they're going to do it. Um, at least maybe not in the first film. They could, but Batman has already said is in his formative years maybe he might take on a Robin, but maybe that might just happen at the end of the film. If we really are getting a trilogy, then maybe that could happen in the second movie. I don't know if they're going to do Jason Todd. They could do, and you know, if you're still a believer of that, this could be connected to, um, I mean, we don't know for sure, obviously. So if you still believe that this could be connected to the DCU, then they could explore that Batman uh, versus Superman, Jason Todd-esque reference, even though Zack Snyder said that wasn't even Jason Todd. That was meant to be Dick Grayson, which just confuses people even more because that doesn't really make sense to traditional canon not that i'm outside the realms of uh changing traditional canon but that is super confusing anyway back to the point they could explore robert pattinson as a younger affleck losing jason todd to the joker but then this would have to involve joker in the movies uh, so at some point in a trilogy where that's uh you know uh movie number two or movie number three and i just I don't think they're going to add a Joker into the uh, Matt Reeves' uh, Batman trilogy. They might have nods, considering this is three flipping films. I think it's pretty impossible to avoid uh, the Joker for Robert Pattinson. I'm not saying that they're going to flagship a Joker in one of the movies, but I, with a Joker movie coming out, with what they've still got with uh, Jared Leto in, um, you know, even in Birds of Prey and whatever the hell they're going to do with that guy's Joker. I just can't imagine they're going to put that in Matt Reeves' Batman movies, unless they do, unless they do, which is why I'm more inclined to believe it would be Dick Grayson, which makes more sense anyway. Maybe they might just introduce him in the last half an hour of the film and then in the second movie from Matt Reeves in the trilogy of The Batman uh, with Robert Pattinson, we explore Dick Grayson. And then by the end of uh, number three, he might leave and become Nightwing. And then that could start off a spin-off movie, which has been rumored for years and years, Nightwing. So super interesting, guys. I would love to know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Very super interesting stuff to come. As always, uh, subscribe to the channel. Keep notifications on to keep up to date with everything the Batman movie related. Other links to follow me or talk to me directly in my Discord server and the links down below. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you, Bat family, in the next video. Goodbye.